the glory greatest country of the United States of America, bringing you amazing things such as queer theory. Well, not particularly. There are a lot of people throughout the world who were invested in that, specifically in Germany. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. Anyways, that's only slightly relevant to what I'm going to be discussing. Who could have thought something would go this bad? Who would have thought the Olympics have evoked the Last Supper? They're uh, currently like parading it around as if it was Dionysus, like the god, the Greek god of madness. Yeah, uh, they also were parading around that it was for uh, unity, love, and inclusion. None of those things are something Dionysus represents. I mean, have you ever heard of the Greek god of wine going, Oh yeah, man, I just want, I just love that inclusion. <laughs> I just love that unity. He's a god of chaos, like, by default. I don't, he, he's a god of madness. But, uh, The Last Supper, a painting made by Leonardo da Vinci about when Christ announced he'd be betrayed. And the people involved in the Olympics were all people involved with queerism. Uh, didn't, uh, one, didn't the New Testament say something about this? I think I remember seeing it in 1 Timothy, uh, looking at the quote right now. 1 Timothy, uh, cha uh chapter 1, 9 to 10. English Standard Version says, Understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who strike their fathers and mother, mothers, for murderers, the sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, enslavers, liars, perjurers, and whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine. I mean, I don't agree with Paul on many things, but half of that shit I do agree with. The, but a lot of people do agree with it. So here's the thing. All of this is like uh, the, the religious, the Christianity would not, does not like queerism by default, especially with stuff like this around. It's the same reason why they don't accept like a woman priest, you know? Because the, the Bible has, like, multiple entries about it. I mean, in 1 Timothy as well, if you go into 1 Timothy, let me flip open the book a little more, right? If you're going into 1 Timothy, you'll notice in chapter, I believe, 3 or 2, it, uh, Paul says to Timothy about a woman that he would, that she should be subservient, she should be humble. Uh, she should not have braided hair or wear gaudy, expensive dresses. Like, and the reasoning is because Eve uh, became a transgressor of sin. It's, it's pretty out there in the Bible that they just don't. They just don't, you know? I don't even practice religion. I say this shit's a stupid move. You don't do this. Why would you uh, deliberately provoke religious imagery with queerism if you're not going to mock it? Well, you, you, you shouldn't be mocking it like that. That's just asshole -ish. That'd be like if a bunch of Christians made an uh, event and they just went on a they just had a priest go on a tirade about like all of the Jews and like homosexuals and all the Islamics and everyone. It's just like the you start off the Olympics with a sermon about all of how everyone else is wrong and deserves to die. Do, does that sound conductive to you? <laughs> no. Uh, the people. The people behind the Olympics, uh, th this was the, the Dionysus comment. That was an actual tweet made by Olympics. Uh, believe it or not, here's what they call it. The interpretation of the Greek god Dionysus makes us aware of the absurdity of violence between human beings. Uh, Dionysus did not fucking care about violence. Uh, People use Dionysus to express violence, actually. They liked that shit. They liked beating people up in the stands. And he loved it, because 
that was what he was there for. He's Dionysus, the Greek god of insanity. <laughs> uh, but, uh, in Bully you can just click this little button here. And, oh my god. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Witness the beautiful nature of going down thousands of uh, tweets that they've just, like, fucking hidden. Well, hundreds of tweets. I think they grabbed an unpaid labor intern and just slaved this motherfucker away to just continuously uh, hide every single tweet that says, woke, unbelievable, ultimate shit. This was terrible. If it says that, you're going in the bin, buddy. <laughs> you're going into the bin. Because there's a lot of tweets here. Like, a lot, a lot of tweets. Like, an extreme amount of tweets. It is an absurd amount of tweets. That is how many tweets are here. This is not a good thing. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, it's been fun. Also, uh, I got dislike bombed by, like, Destiny people, apparently. Because I made fun of them. <laughs> Yeah, I made fun of the guy who wanted to genocide conservatives. Remember that? Remember remember Destiny? He wanted to genocide conservatives? <laughs> Apparently making fun of that is not a good thing. Imagine defending a fucking a guy who doesn't understand age of consent or doesn't care to. Imagine doing that shit. Imagine <laughs> fucking a loser, man. Hey, waiting to get right, only leave you left behind. Up goes the early bird, soaring down. Scrounge around for whatever words might be obtainable. Never knew who flew about this first. So what's available, not a lot, it seems. What you gonna do for it? Anything I means? Type of dedication you gotta have as you're blazing the path. Never know who's trailing, you're hoping to get familiar with the ways and the things that we do. Bought hard and whole everyone.